Wherever you're watching this around the country, welcome. It's news across Nigeria on Channels Television. We're reaching you live from Lagos, the nation's commercial nerve center. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. Are we starting off right about now with news that the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Power, Ambassador Godnews Igali, who says about 2.7 trillion naira has been spent on the power sector from 1999 till date. The official was speaking during the investigative hearing of the Allot Committee on Power. Well, he explains that inconsistent funding is responsible for the lack of constant electricity in the country. However, he points out that the privatization exercise, which took place in 2013, has helped in taking the burden off funding of the federal government. The committee also received a presentation on the Nigeria Integrated Power Project, the NIPP. All right, now let's move over to the northeast part of the country, uh, talking about Borno State, where the Nigerian army has dismissed allegations of its involvement in human rights abuses during any operations it's involved in. Rather, the army says it has been protecting human rights and wouldn't hesitate to thoroughly investigate reports of such violations and punish any one of its men found guilty with extant laws. This is a reaction to reports by foreign media, non-governmental and civil society organizations, which the army says are all making false claims of alleged human rights violations. Acting Director, Public Relations, Colonel Sani Usman, says the army wouldn't succumb to blackmail, neither will it be distracted from its determined effort of de defending Nigeria's territorial integrity. According to the army spokesman, it's clear that some people aren't happy with the progress made in the efforts to solve the security problems bedeviling the country as manifested in the terrorist activities. He says the implication of such act is capable of thwarting the gains in the fight against terror and insurgency. From the northeast, let's move over now to the northwest part of the country, a corner state to be precise, where the Anti-Corruption Commission there says it has confiscated over 7,000 bags of government-subsidized fertilizer allegedly being sold above government giveaway price. Addressing the news conference, the Commission's Executive Chairman, Mr. Mui Magaji, says the fertilizers will soon be given to farmers at the government's approved price. To uh, confiscate about 7,200 bags of fertilizer, which is meant for various wards in Kano State. Our investigation also revealed that uh, some of the officers of the agencies involved in so many dubious activities, ranging from extortion, using dubious means of collecting money from the motors. We have found out that. In uh, uh, part of this law they initiated, they used to find at least 150,000 naira on a trailer that is found wanting or, or, or something of that nature. And we were able to, uh, our investigation also revealed that we are yet to find a place where that remittance, a, a remittance of 150,000 naira was done. What we are doing is to make sure that that part leather reaches people. Our concern should be that the people that this particular what the, uh, what it means the purpose it it it, it the, its purpose has been uh, been met and that's what we are doing now. Well, the executive chairman there of the commission, that's the anti-corruption commission, Muye Magaji, uh, speaking about uh, the Kano state government's resolve to ensure uh, that the issue of uh, fertilizers. Uh, uh, get to the end users. Something really good happening there uh, in Kano State. Well, we're staying in Kano State. We're beaming our searchlight there. And this time, the state police command has arrested uh, two suspected armed robbers who disguise in military uniforms to rob travelers along the Kano Meduguri Highway. Now, the police public relations officer, Mr. Magaji Mejia, says the suspects have confessed to carrying out several robbery attacks on major highways across the state. And one of them was shot on the leg. 
and eventually arrested. The three others escaped into the bush. On spot charge, uh, locally make, uh, made by a barrel gun was recovered in his possession. And when investigation carried on, the search was carried on in the vehicle, two other locally made uh, guns were also recovered. He also confessed to have been operating for three times along that road and robbed about eight vehicles. During the investigation, he confessed and mentioned that they have seen decades of hope armed with three rifles to rising locations along Marrabal Jones to Berlingero before church and other soft locations along Kano Kanumi Expressway. They have snatched three bought to Golf one Toyota Corolla S from various armed robbery operations. That was a police public relations officer there in Kano State, Mr. Magiji Mejia, uh, speaking on the uh, arrest of some robbery suspects in Kano State. Well, we're staying in the northwest. Uh, that's uh, uh, as we now move over uh, to Kaduna State, a neighboring state of uh, Kano. And this time in Kaduna, the state government uh, says it has uncovered about 24 billion Nara state funds uh, saved in some 470 accounts in 23 uh, commercial banks by the past administration under different names. Uh, the Kaduna State Deputy Governor, Mr. Bala Bantex, uh, revealed this during a town hall meeting held in Kafanchan headquarters of Jamaa local government area of the state. According to the deputy governor, the accounts were discovered following the adoption of the single treasury account uh, system uh, recently introduced by the current administration of Governor Nasir El Rufai. It's the third time the Kaduna State Government is organizing a town hall meeting. This time it's to intimate the citizens about what government has done so far. The administration had in August this year adopted the single treasury account and consequently directed all commercial banks in custody of the state government funds to remit such money to the Central Bank of Nigeria at the end of the exercise. We discovered that we have no fewer than 470 accounts in Katuna State operated in about 23 banks. You cannot own what you don't know where it is located. Those amounts have been swept into a single account with the central bank and that process has led us into discovering not less than 24 billion naira. The deputy governor also complained that despite the autonomy granted to local governments in the state by the current administration, some councils in the state are highly indebted. The discoveries so far show that while our youths are all over the street unemployed, we have situations where one person is sitting on 30 jobs. We cannot afford to continue in that direction. We are collecting reports on the phenomenon of ghost schools. We have discovered in our preliminary analysis and studies that not only do we have ghost workers, we have ghost schools. Having heard from the government, the residents also want them to look into certain issues. With all the equipment in place, healthcare delivery might not be very, very good. I therefore want to be. Please look into our accreditational challenges and help us attend full accreditation so that we can have more manpower that will mine the health system of our dear state. The citizens may be satisfied with the outcome of the meeting. What they want is words that are matched with action to ensure transparency and accountability in governance.